Uh, hi, my name is Nick Behrens. Thanks for checking out Atomic Docs. Uh, Atomic Docs basically does two things. It provides an interface for creating and managing uh, SAS partials, and it's also a style guide generator. Um, as far as the SAS partials, this is what a typical uh, partials directory could look like for me if you're using uh, Brad Frost's Atomic Design Principles. This would be my molecules directory. Um, as you can see, several uh, partial files. And then if you look at the molecules um, root uh, SCSS directory, you'll notice all the import strings uh, that you have to write. Um, this gets old after a while, having to do this for every single component. So I created an interface for creating the files and then writing uh, the import strings to do that automatically for you. That's the first part. The second part is the style guide creation. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a component here and give you a better idea of exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, components get grouped into categories. Uh, in the atomic design world, your categories would be like atoms, molecules, organisms, etc. cetera. Uh, we can name them whatever we want, whoever. So let's just go ahead and we'll call this one modules. And we'll add that. And if we go back over into our project, uh, you'll see that in the SCSS directory, there is a newly created modules directory. Uh, and in there, uh, Atomic Docs automatically creates the modules uh, SCSS root. And then in the main SCSS file, you'll also notice uh, that the modules SCSS string has been created for us. Um, OK, so let's go back and create the actual component. Uh, we're just going to go in, add component. We'll call this one box. Give it a note. This is the box component, maybe. Click Add. All right, now if we go back over to our project again, uh, you'll notice in the SCSS directory, you'll see that box has been added to the modules directory. And then in the modules file, you'll see the string, the import string for box has been created. Um, so let's go ahead and open up our box SCSS file. Let's add some styles. We'll go with a width or something. There we go, width of 300 pixels. Uh, do a height of 150 pixels. Background. Uh, we'll do pound, triple E. And then we'll give it a padding of 20 pixels overall. Save that out. Now if we go into our components directory, you will find the modules directory there, uh, along with the box.html. This is where we're going to write our markup for the box. So we'll just make it simple. Uh, div class box. Box. Save that out. We'll come back over to our browser and refresh. And there we have our newly created box component. OK, now let's take a look at managing our components once they're created. I'm going to start off by creating a new category here called objects. Add that. OK, now we want to move our box component over into the new objects category. So we would click on the edit icon. And then as you can see, it brings up all our options. So we can rename the box component. Uh, we can change the description for it. Um, we can delete it, and then we can move it, which is what we're going to do now. Um, we'll select objects. That's our only option. Uh, click move. And then there you go. You can see it got moved over into the objects category. And um, then over in our project, you'll see that the box component has been moved out of modules and now into um, the objects uh, directory there. Um, and then you'll also notice that in modules, uh, the, the string for the box component has been removed from there and then added to the root um, objects CSS file. And also over in the components, you'll notice that it's been moved out of uh, modules and into the objects directory up there. OK, so let's go ahead and use our new component. Uh, in our actual project. Um, let's go ahead and open up our index file. We just need to make sure that we're linked to our style sheet. Um, 
as you could imagine, you could just copy and paste the code into the document, save that out. Let's go to the root of our project. And there is our box component. Um, alternatively, you can just use like a PHP include here. And then that way it's pretty easy to keep uh, your style guide uh, and your actual project uh, up to date, which can be pretty handy. Um, but yeah, thanks for checking out Atomic Docs and you can see more in the documentation. Uh, thank you much.